Hello friends that live within the internet. My name is John and in this video I'm going to cover the top five Visual Studio Code themes in 2021. Yes, in this video you're going to learn how to make your Visual Studio Code that little bit more beautiful. Now the difference between this video and some of the other ones you might see online is I'm not just going to go on and say use Dracula or use the One Dark Pro theme which is the most popular one. Instead I spent several hours going through the Visual Studio Extension Marketplace and looking at the themes that I actually like. So these themes are going to be a little bit different, they're not going to be the ones that if you just google best themes you'll find in the top 10 list, it's going to be super cool. Anyway, if you haven't come across one of my videos before, my name is John and I do weekly YouTube videos on development, productivity, all that sort of amazing and beautiful stuff. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to become a legend and not be a numpty. Anyway, assuming that you have done that, let's take a look at some of these beautiful themes. Before I go into my top five list, I thought I'd share with you the theme that I've been using for the last year. Now, if you have seen any of my previous videos, this is the theme that I've been using for a while, and this is called Synthwave 84. Now, the reason why I like this theme, as you can see, is you get this really nice glow effect. And also in the left, if I zoom in, hopefully, you can see that you get like a nice gradient effect as well. So Synthwave 84, go over to the marketplace, just click install very simple and then to activate the plugin go into visual studio go to your command palette and just type in enable neon dreams you can see up there and that is all you need to do so let's move into my top 2021 themes now the first theme that we're going to cover is called the co-pilot theme and it's been written by someone called benjamin banas benjamin banana ben banana benjamin banana benjamin and as we can see, the theme was released at mid-July 2021. Now, I quite like the color scheme here. Let's have a look how it looks within the Visual Studio. So I've got it installed right here. To install it, just go to Extension Marketplace, type in Copilot theme, off you go. And you can see Benjamin Bananas. Now, I quite like this theme. It's not too difficult on the eyes. It's quite easy to look at. I've tried coding on this for a whole day and my eyes did get really strained. I quite like the contrast and the color because it makes it very easy to see where your parentheses are, where your string literals are, all of that beautiful stuff. Now, the other thing is I quite like this little yellow thing at the top here, this highlight actuation. And there's also got like a nice little yellow solid color here. So I'm quite liking this one. I probably wouldn't use it full time. However, if you're looking for a new theme, I definitely think this is one that you should consider. The next theme we're going to look at is called Serendipity. And again, this was a theme which was released fairly recently at the beginning of July 2021. However, if we look at this one, it's already been downloaded 5,000 times nearly. So this is a popular theme worth checking out. Now, I saw a blog post about this. I had a look at it and I actually really like it. So I've got the theme installed. Again, if you want to install it, just go to the extension manager, type in Serendipity. And as you can see, it pops up right there. So this is a test I've got open. As you can see, it's super simple and really easy on the eye to see what's going on. You can see that the dots are in orange here. I quite like that. And then all the methods are in this sort of aqua color. Quite like it. Again, if we look at config, again, it's really simple to see, you know, where our config, our objects are and where our values, because they're all in different colors. We can have a look at some code. Again, it's really, um, this muted color theme is really nice. I prefer dark theme in general because I get less eye strain, but I'm hoping you can agree that this is really simple and it makes it um, much more intuitive and easy to actually read your code and understand where the different bots are. So this is a strong contender of one that I'm probably gonna be using within the next year quite a bit, I think. I really like this next theme because it gives me a sense of nostalgia. Now I started learning how to code back in the early noughties using my C-sharps on Visual Studio and Windows XP. Now this next theme will give us a Windows XP look and feel within Visual Studio code and it's imaginatively called Windows XP theme. I bet the name of that took him ages to come up with. Now written by someone called Johan Lassoas. Definitely got the name right there. Again, released in mid-July. This theme promises to give us a look and feel of Windows XP, and let's see how it looks within Visual Studio. So the first thing that you'll probably notice is blue. Back in the early noughties, Microsoft loved this blue. Everywhere you looked, 
taskbar, start bar, blue everywhere, as far as the eye can see, blue, blue. Now, as a color scheme goes, I actually quite like this. It does remind me of the early Visual Studio, but I think it's very easy to differentiate between your code here. You can definitely see all the different operators, the values, the value types, really easy. I quite like the red and contrasting blues. As you can see in here, it's very easy to differentiate between all the different HTML elements. If we look in config, you can see that the values and the object types got different colors. Um, I quite like this one. And if I was looking to use a light colored theme, this is the one that I would use probably full time. However, I'm more of a dark theme guy. So for me, if I was having a retro gaming night or retro gaming evening, this is the theme that I'll probably put on. If I just want some uh, reminisce about how amazing I was when I started learning to code, I would install this theme. So if you were looking for a white color scheme, then give this a go because it'll make you feel like a coding champion. The fourth theme that I recommend that you check out is called Martian Night. Now this theme is inspired by the sunset of Mars. Beautiful. Who wouldn't want their code editor to look like the sunset of Mars? So let's have a look at this in action. Now again, to install it, all you need to do is go to Marketplace. You get the drift by now. Type in Martian Night, install it. Now, when you do this, you can set different themes. So there's a normal one, an italic one, and a bold one. So I quite like the italic theme. So as you can see here, my import is in italics. However, my imported thing is still not in italics. So I think this actually makes it a little bit easier for me to differentiate between the different elements on my code file. Now, clicking through, you can see that it's a dark theme again quite like the muted color accents. So I find it very easy on the eye, very easy to differentiate between the different elements and the metadata right here. Looking more at code, let's look at this page here. Again, I quite like the color scheme where I've got our operators in purple and we can see our different variables in yellow. So this is one of my favorite themes that I've seen for a while. I really like the muted color scheme. So this is one that I definitely recommend that you check out. The last theme that I'm going to recommend in this video is the Fortnite VS Code theme. Now I'll put my hands up, I have never played Fortnite in my life. I know loads of people bang on about how good it is, never had a go. However, I do quite like this theme. So let's have a look at it in action. So again, to install this theme, extension manager right here, type in Fortnite VS Code theme, click install and you'll get this lovely purple inspired theme. Now, I think it might just be me that I like purple based things. However, I find it much easier to read and also think it looks a lot cooler. So I'm definitely digging the Synthwave 84 purpley vibes at the moment. Now, as we can see, clicking through all the different files, it's pretty easy to differentiate between all the different elements. It's easy to read comments. There's nothing which is difficult. Everything stands out, which is one of the main things a good theme should do. So I really like this theme and this is probably the theme that I'm going to use for a little while. It's still got that little kind of glow effect. Also quite like the green color swatches in the side here. So I'm gonna be using this theme moving forward. So this is my theme of choice. What do you think? Out of the five themes that I've shown you, do you like them? Which one would you personally use yourself? I'm really interested, so please leave your thoughts in the comments below. I can't afford any outro music, so this is my outro song. Yeah. So this concludes the end of another video. Which theme was your favorite? Please leave your comments below. Also, if you like this type of content and you'd like to see me do some more Visual Studio theme videos, please let me know and I'm happy to do them. Also, this has got to the stage in the video where I say two things. One, if you haven't already, sign up to my newsletter. This is free, I send stuff out every Sunday. The link's below. Sign up, you'll learn a bit more about web development. Also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, don't be an absolute numpty. Subscribe to this channel and become an absolute coding legend. Also, do me that solid. Hit the like button, trick YouTube into sharing my video to more people. Otherwise, I hope you found some value from this and I hope you actually go off and update your theme because that's the point of this video. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and happy coding.